Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with ASP.NET Core. Our viewer has run into an error message related to SSL certificates while using the ASP.NET Core MVC boilerplate template in Visual Studio 2017. The error reads, internal.cryptography.cryptothrow-helper Windows cryptographic exception occurred HR result equals 0x800702. The system cannot find the file specified. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help resolve this problem. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. The error message you're encountering indicates that the system cannot find a specified file related to your SSL certificate. Let's start by checking your project configuration. In the launch settings.json file, verify that the SSL port and application URL are correctly set. This is crucial for the Kestrel server to locate the SSL certificate. Next, ensure that the SSL certificate file exists at the specified location. If it doesn't, you may need to create a new development certificate. If the certificate is in place and trusted, but you're still facing issues, check the permissions on the certificate file. Ensure that your application has access to it. Finally, if you're running IIS Express, make sure that it's configured to use the, the correct SSL certificate. You can do this in the IIS Express configuration file. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. There are two main issues that could cause the Windows cryptographic exception. First, the file might exist but be a symlink which confuses the system. In this case, try using file.readAllBytes and the byte array constructor. Second, the file might not exist at all. To diagnose the second issue, check the current directory using environment.current directory. You can also use directory.enumerate files to see what files are present and understand why your file is missing. Lastly, if you thought you were loading from a certificate store instead of a file, double check your configuration and try again, as you might actually be loading from a file. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're running your application in Docker, a useful workaround for handling certificates is to copy them at startup. This is necessary because the wildcard certificate.pfx is added to the container as a symlink, which isn't supported for reading. By copying it, you create a regular file that can be accessed without issues. In this setup, the application runs from the CIS app folder, while the certificates are stored in CZASH certificates. During startup, the certificate is copied to CZASH app, which is where the environment variables point. The 
The Docker Compose configuration specifies the image and sets environment variables for the application, including the path to the copied certificate. It also manages secrets for configuration and certificates. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're encountering the Windows cryptographic exception while setting up a .NET 6 MVC app with a CertBot certificate, the issue might be due to using a symlink for the full chain.pem file. To resolve this, right-click the .pem file shortcut and select Open File Location to find the actual .pem files. Make sure to update your settings to point to the correct file paths. The wrong path points to the live folder, while the correct path should point to the archive folder. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. After spending the morning troubleshooting, the user found a solution to the Windows cryptographic exception. They were using the azure.security.keyvault.certificates package to download a certificate for Identity Server. They recently updated their NuGet packages and refactored some code, which led to the error. The key line of code they needed was the one that sets the key storage flags. The crucial part was using x509 key storage flags dot machine key set, which they discovered after trying several other options. They noted that they had this setting originally before the refactor. Here's the code snippet that worked for them. Var signing certificate equals certificate client dot download certificate with the key storage flag set to machine key set. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.